Hi guys, it's Peter and welcome to our channel. Finally, uh, my GTR runs almost the way it should be. The stubborn problem is gone. I, I was able to find it, what it did cause problem and able to fix it. Well, let's go back to shop. I was gonna show you what I did and I hope this video tutorial will help to someone uh, with similar problem to troubleshoot it and repair it. Okay guys, now we are back in shop and like you already see my gt i tear it apart again uh pretty much there's a few reasons first i need to fix it uh problem with uh displayed and i was gonna show you a little bit more details what it did cause the problem and how to fix it pretty much uh let me start from beginning when i swap it uh xr hub to my gt like, like I mentioned before, it, everything was work fine until I swap it uh, XR hub. As soon as I swap it, on the first try, the motor starts tower and I crash it. And luckily I didn't hurt myself because I, I did wear all my gears, but still, not really pleasant surprise. And at that, at that moment I didn't get it why all of a sudden uh, motor starts stubborn. Uh, I took it apart. I uh, put uh, GT uh, hub right next to, start looking, visually everything looks same. Then when I place it, I start this piece into a XR hub, and I also I try it on the GT first, see how far that metal at the armature itself, it's, uh, if it's the same level as a magnet, how high or so, it's slightly higher, uh, which mean it's almost like uh, riding on a half spa or half uh, part of a sensor itself because the stubborn usually caused by by hull sensor when i put it in the xr uh, housing in mean the hub i recognize that the magnet sits slightly lower than on a gt and that's understandable uh, all those hubs they're probably no Two identical, some of them gonna be magnet slightly higher, some of them lower or so. And uh, in the first glance, when I look at uh, the sensor, they all looks, I mean, pretty good the way it should be. And that's when I was kind of start doing some resources, try to find it what's going on. And I even did swap it back with GT Hub to see if it's still, if it will do on the GT Hub. No, GT Hub was working fine. I switch, switch it back on XR, it still had that problem. Then when I t tear it apart for what, second time or third time, I started examining it stator from a GT much closer, and I did recognize it. The center, uh, hull sensor, it was, I mean, right now it sits properly, the way it should be. I, I, I did that. I, I insert it and push it, push it in all the way and insert it back. Before it was like a halfway through. From factory. Plus there's not much epoxy. If the first sensor, it has some epoxy, you can see right there. Second one and third, there almost no epoxy. But anyway, long story short, I inserted the, that connector, push it in. I push it all the way in the way it should be, like the first one and the third one sits properly set it back and test it works fine i mean no stubborn at all zero issue i drove it for uh, i mean almost a few days put probably 20 30 something miles or so now like i said i, I tear it apart to take care of the plate but the plate is going to be a different video and apply it epoxy on those two sensors make sure they will not move at all even the way it is like right now those sensors probably is not gonna move because the st uh, stator is stationary the hub spins around but still what about from impact or do a curb drop or some some things and for example if, if the board it's gonna move slightly because when it sits here like i said the magnet it's already in a half, uh, half of part of a sensor. If it moves slightly, millimeter, 
it's not much but it will not read properly it will throw air and the board will lose its power and you crush it i mean even a single uh, crash that that's uh, i mean if you can prevent even a single crash that will worth it to tear it apart inspect it if there's a problem fix it and uh, and call good well guys pretty much that's all for this video i hope it was kind of interesting enjoyable if you guys did enjoy it thumbs up if you don't want to miss any future videos subscribe we will be really appreciate thank you